Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, how are you? Today is going to be just a chill vlog with me because why not? I'm just gonna be packaging some orders and I thought it'd be cute to bring you guys along with me. I also did wanna mention that I had a meetup recently and it was so sweet and so nice. I filmed a little bit on the day and I talked a little bit about it, which I'll add uh, after this bit, but I was super nervous and really worried because essentially I was meeting strangers um, to knit with me uh, and meet up in this strange location, but it was honestly really cute. We all sat in our little, on our little blankets and like chairs and just knit and um, it was really nice. It was only supposed to go from like two to four, but we went to like two to five and I didn't know how nice it was to talk to other people about yarn and like all like geek out about it and just peacefully just knit our pieces and like it was just nice because like I feel like everyone just mutually understood like I want to give you my yarn so you can feel how soft this item is and like I'm gonna put it to my face and like smell it low-key so yeah I hope to be able to do it more in the future hopefully I can plan it but things have been kind of crazy i haven't been able to post too much thank you guys so much for the patience i hope i can get this video out soon and we can just have a very chill borderline asmr packaging video with me <laughs> maybe with voiceovers so let's get on with it i just want to thank today's sponsor of this video native native is a deodorant company native actually sent me some deodorants to try out i really like it because this is all 100 percent plastic free which i've never heard before if you guys know i'm trying to be more conscious on this channel and i try my best to not use any single-use plastic so i think this is a really good alternative to your basic like plastic deodorants it is paraben free aluminum free as well as vegan and cruelty free it actually makes my armpits smell really nice i just think it's such a cute like dainty little scent i think this one is this scent is also a part of the sensitive range so i really like that if your skin is just sensitive to certain uh, products i got three scents this is the lilac and white tea i got the coconut and vanilla as well as the lavender and rose i'd say the lavender and rose is probably like my favorite scent uh, all of them are just super subtle it doesn't even feel or smell like you're wearing deodorant it's it's just like a nice little fragrance yeah so i actually have a code for you guys usually for three uh, plastic free deodorants it would cost 39 dollars. but with my code lou you can get 33 percent off which would make it 26 dollars um, as well, you can actually use my code and get 20% off um, body wash or um, toothpaste. Thank you again, Native, and let's get on with the video. Today we're doing our first, I guess, knitting in the park. I set up like a WhatsApp group and we're all like um, meeting up to go knit together, which I think is weird to think that I planned this. I don't even know. I'm like the worst planner. Like no one should ever allow me to make plans but somehow it has worked out and we will see if it has worked out. Everyone in the chat has been so sweet um, and I'm so excited to meet everyone and knit together. I like, I'm so nervous. I guess I haven't really met a lot of people who knit in Vancouver. This will be like a really, I don't know. I don't know what to expect because I feel like it's just like everyone's gonna be like so different, like from different like backgrounds. I'm like scarily like such an introvert. So talking is going to be painful but like we'll get through it because i'm so excited to meet everyone i'm thinking i have like a couple projects i want to bring to knit that are like easy enough that i don't have to like be looking at an in ingredient uh, a recipe a pattern for too long so i'm bringing this guy this is just my i'm knitting this for a baby cousin of mine that i've never met uh, which is really sad that i haven't met them yet but we're going to meet them soon and I'm going to make a hat. I'm making another one because there's three kits. I'm making a hat and hat and then maybe something else. So this is knit with uh, one strand mohair, one strand of Lavender Fiber Co. One of their yarns, I think from, I think the color is Saatchi, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, and I'm making just an Ozzel hat. I don't know, the Ozzel hat has really weirded me out <laughs> because I don't know, the instructions just seem so odd. And every time I want to knit it up, I get, like, scared. Because it doesn't seem like 
the right thing to do. Like, I feel like I'm making a mistake, but it says it so clearly in the instructions. So who even knows? my makeup done literally it feels like I'm going on a date because I'm also trying to choose outfits I'm so silly but I have like two right now that I'm like contemplating they're the two that I just finished recently um this is my camisole seven I think oh it already has a crease where you fold oh that's so annoying and then I have cami number six this side because it's like kind of hot today Kind of hot today. Okay, I think. I think this is a fit. I don't know. I don't go outside, so I don't really know how hot it is. Do we feel this outfit? from the Spring Sweets collection that need to be packaged. These are kind of some stitch markers as well as um, my Patreon fiber fans who get the mini skeins. And then I'm just trying to organize it so when I package it, it'll go into that box and I'll put the tracking on and everything. And this guy, I've been trying to like organize this crate because I want it to be, uh, I need it to be, like of use it used to just hold my whips in it but now it just holds like my patreon yarn the restock and then i don't even want to talk about that and then these guys are actually the boxes for uh the advent calendars i just wanted to get them all set up and ready because i'm very behind
hello, hello, just popping in. Um, I'm still unsure as to what is a good ratio for not speaking and speaking portions of these types of videos, but um, yeah, I hope you guys get kind of like an insight as well as to how I package orders and um, all that fun stuff. Honestly, I love packing orders. It's so peaceful and so calming. Like, it kind of reminds me of knitting, very like repetitive motions, but you know, getting that final result, it's so satisfying. Like looking at all my skeins, all packed up and ready and then putting them into um, packages, it just honestly makes my day and I would love to do it a lot more. And so I'm always brainstorming more things to put up on my shop. So I was able to pack everything for the Spring Sweets collection and then I've also just packed up all of the July orders. Um, I'm going to send them off to the post office. <laughs> this isn't even all of it. <laughs> I always feel so bad like going to the post office and being like, hey, so can you just do all, all this extra work? Thank you. The August Patreons are going to be sent out a little bit later, so don't want to bombard. <laughs> the post office, but I just wanted to show off my fit today. I'm wearing my newly blocked shorts number one by My Favorite Things Knitwear, and I'm just wearing a Muji kind of linen top that I love to death. I look like I'm going on a tropical vacation, but we love. This is editing Tiffany. I didn't realize I didn't do an outro, but I just thought I would do one. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. Hope that was a chill vibe. We can do more of these if I do more packaging, um, which is on the to-do list. So um, you guys know I'm on Twitch, I'm on Patreon, I'm on Instagram. You can check my Ravelry, we're on everything. Um, links always in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.